Hi, I'm Philip Cosgrave and as you can see I'm standing in a field of, of spring barley down here in Mullingar um, and this field of spring barley is, is destined to be cut for whole crop now in, in, in August. Um, and I'm just going to through in this video I'm just going to go through some basic nutrient requirements of um, forage brassica crops that may be drilled into stubble whether that's on you know winter barley after winter barley has been harvested or um, you know spring barley that's been cut for whole crop but the main thing is the earlier you get these crops drilled the better because then you're giving a greater opportunity for that grow to it for that crop then to grow establish and get a, a cost effective um, crop out of it you know there, are, there is a lot of interest in growing these forage brassica crops to extend you know livestock uh, grazing for longer into the winter time and there are they are um, you know a good way of maintaining livestock performance particularly not just with with, with lambs and sheep but also for for young stock and um, and cows so I guess when you're you know picking a site um, you know because these crops are going to be um, grazed you know we're really talking about um, forage rape here stubble turnips and then hybrid um, kale rape crops so you know such varieties like swift interval and, and red star so those type of crops so you know th the main thing is that you don't pick a field that's that's um, got a very steep slope in it you know that these fields need to be reasonably well drained because you're going to graze them and you don't know what the weather is going to be like in that you know when it gets into later August and early winter for for grazing them so it's important that the site is um, is, is well drained um, you know if you have a soil analysis a recent soil analysis well then the nutrient requirements of these crops should be based on that um, soil analysis and particularly um, soil pH you know soil pH the, the optimum pH for growing these crops is about 6.2 to 6.7 so if it's below that well then maybe there um, some granulated lime should be applied to, to help correct um, some of the, the issues with, with low soil pH and um, like all brassica crops you know they they require um, good soil fertility and you know also we need to look at not just NP and K but also sulfur and boron as well so you know if we were taking a site that has generally good soil fertility and um, you know at, at optimum indexes and um, we're looking at a fertilizer um, application at drilling of two and a half bags of 52s at establishment or on sites that may be okay for phosphorus but may be low on on potash then um, two and a half bags of silage booster is, a, is, a, is a, are, are the products that should be applied at establishment. We don't want to apply too much nitrogen on these crops. A lot of the recommendations um, are for crops that maybe are sown back in, in, in June or early July and um, they will have a higher nitrogen requirement so we're looking at applying around about between 40 and 50 units of nitrogen to these crops because there will be some carryover of nitrogen from the the previous crop and um, from the previous cereal crop and um, so and plus you're sowing them at a time when um, the growing season you're coming to the end of the growing season so they won't um, capture the value of, of, of applying um, you know nitrogen in excess of, of 50 units um, to the acre all of those products I've just spoken about and contain sulfur and it's important that we get sulfur onto these brassica crops because um, you know that those brassica crops have a high requirement for sulfur um, the other thing is these crops require boron and um, some sites or some fields will be have a higher requirement for boron than others and um, so as a general rule we would be putting on um, around about one and a half litres of Yara Vita Brazitrel Pro per acre um, when the crop establishes so at that at that three to six leaf stage and if it's a if it's a site that's known for uh, low boron well then we would then apply the same app at the, another application of Yara Vita Brazitrel Pro at maybe 10 to 14 days later and that should cover the crop's requirement for boron thank you